Angular pipes are essentially functions we can use in our template expressions, and they take an input value and return some type of a transformed value based on the input. And this is done on the view level. You'll see what I mean by this later in one of the examples. Angular comes with some pre-built pipes we can use, and in our first example, we're gonna use one of those pipes. We'll use the pre-built uppercase pipe, and to use this pipe, all we need to do is add a pipe symbol next to our template expression. For example, I have a property sentence with a value of I love Angular and I'll also add a button here and the reason for this is so that we can check our sentence property after we transformed it. Now as you can see the whole string is now transformed to uppercase but when I click the button and lock the property it is still all lowercase. Now this means that whenever we use a pipe we are transforming our properties on a view level. Angular has a couple of built-in pipes and we'll take a look at some of them now. We'll take a look at the date pipe. This is a pipe that formats a date value into a string and when we use it with the date object we can see that the display data is now more readable instead of just being a date object we now have a readable string. Now what's interesting about pipes is that they can also take parameters like for example we can transform this date object to display the year, the month and the day separated with the dash and to do that we just need to add a colon and pass in the parameters value. Now beside this we can also chain pipes together and if we chain the uppercase pipe next to the date here, you can see that May now is all uppercase. Now beside these pipes, we also have the lowercase pipe, the currency pipe, the decimal pipe, the percent pipe, the slice pipe, the JSON pipe, and we also have the async pipe for which I have a video explaining what it is and how it works and I'll link that into the corner of this video and in the video description. Sometimes we need more than the built-in pipes and in cases like that, we have the option to make our own custom pipes. Well, now it's time to make our custom pipe. For this, we're gonna make a pipe that will sort a list of objects by a given property. First step is to generate the pipe with the ng generate pipe command, and then we need to pass in the name of our pipe, which in our case will be sort list, and this will create our scaffolding for our pipe and it will add it to our app module file. As you can see in our pipe file, we implemented the pipe transform interface and we have a mandatory transform method that we need to work with. The transform method comes with a first parameter value and that's the data we want to transform, which in our case is the array of users. And the second parameter is the list of arguments that are optional. And in our case, that will be an object property that we want to sort by. Now in our transform method, we'll sort our array based on the given property and return back the sorted array. For this, we're gonna use the sort method, which by default sorts in ascending order. So to use this pipe, I've created an array of users with a name and age property and we'll sort them based on their name property. As you can see here, our sorting works fine. Our array is mixed, but the output from our pipe sorts the users from A to Z. Now watch what happens if we push a new user with a name that starts with B. We can do that on a button click, and as you can see, our pipe did not sort the new user. Now why is that? Well, that is because of the way change detection works in Angular. But beside that, we also have an option to use a property called pure in our pipe. All pipes in Angular are pure by default, and Angular will run the transform method if there's change on the input reference. One thing we can do is set the pure property to false, and now even if we use the push method, you can see when using impure pipes, the transform works, but we also have to be mindful that this is very bad for performance. Our transform method is being called every time change detection happens, even if we don't touch the user's array. As an exercise, you can try and add a console log in your transform method and see what happens when you use pure and impure pipe. Anyway, one way to increase the performance is to set our pipe back to pure form and instead of pushing to the array, we can just assign a new value to the array like this using the spread operator and the new users object. As you can see, with that, we now have the behavior that we were looking for when using our pipe. That is all for using pipes in Angular. I hope you find this video useful. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.